Hello friends, I am Dr. Brijesh and today we discuss about the combinations of the hydroxychloroquine and the azithromycin drug. Recently, uh, by the French study, it has been proven that uh, hydroxychloroquine and the azithromycin combination uh, is effective in treating the coronavirus infection patient. Though the uh, study uh, uh, treated only 20 patients, that's a very small sample size. But there is some hope that these even a small populations as treated with this combination of the drug, uh, it can be used for the large sample of the patients. There are one thing that one should always look for is the side effect part. And here is it. See, both the drugs like the hydroxychloroquine and azithromycin prolong the QT interval. And everybody knows that the prolongation of QT interval uh, can be results in a fast heartbeat or the irregular heartbeat and sometimes the cardiac arrhythmia which leads to death. It is especially useful to see these drugs using uh, in the elderly people, the people uh, with already on their drugs that cause the QT prolongations and the people who are having a structural or the conditional heart disease. Let me give you one insight about the what are the drugs others that can also cause the QT prolongations. The patient who is on antibiotic like the moxifloxacin, the person who are all, uh, on antidepressant drugs like the escitalopram, the person who are on some antipsychotic drugs and the person who are on the, some other medication like the domperidol. So if a person is already using this medication and if they have to put on these uh, anti-malarial drugs for the coronavirus infections, then they should take precautions. It has been given uh, in a very preliminary uh, uh, interval that these drugs can be used to prevent or as a chemoprophylaxis for the healthcare workers and other people who are very prone uh, to get the coronavirus infections during their job in this lockdown. So that this is the advice for them too that if they are on such medications, if they are having a, such a disease like a fast heartbeat or the irregular heartbeat, they should take precaution using this combination of the drugs uh, in the combinations or maybe singly. As uh, the benefit is less, but there is a more risk taking these medications being a death uh, with, uh, with the cardiac arrhythmia. So guys, Whenever you use azithromycin or the hydroxychloroquines, you can ask your doctors and advise that whether it is safe to take these medications to prevent the coronavirus infections in you. Thank you.